the whole thing. If I'm if I'm talking to a, a young 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 student, I basically tell him that I help provide him with clean water to drink, potable water to drink. If, it, okay. if, he, if he if he if he if I point to the water fountain that he probably just came from drinking water, I tell him that I helped him. I help I help get the water there so you can have some, some water. But I feel like with in my field, I feel like a lot of people take my job for granted. Like we're behind the scenes working on that stuff. Which brings me to to another point, like the Flint, Michigan water crisis, that kind of inspired me to get into this field okay. um, as well. And just seeing uh, what was going on there, the environmental racism that was that was transpiring there. Um, right. It kind of got me into being like very, very, uh, I, I was very moved by what was going on. And I, I didn't want that to happen to any other community. So I told myself that I was just going to use my engineering talents and take it wherever I go. Wherever community I'm working in, I'll, I'll, I'll work my butt off to make sure that that doesn't happen there. Because I feel like, you know, getting getting fresh potable water, like that's 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 the fundamental right, especially living in America. Um, right. So so yeah, so that 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 basically what what drives me every day. Um,